This month, North Phoenix's Peoria Unified School District voted 3-2 against a ban on letting transgender kids use the bathroom of their choice at schools. It's a big victory for equality. Now, one of the two board members that voted against this, Rebecca Hill, who's also infamous for things like praying illegally before school board meetings, uh, she's now saying that she's going to vote against budget items that, in that contain things like facility improvements at the schools and raises for teachers and staff as retaliation for the transgender bathroom decision. Now, that's just wrong. Now, fortunately, the members of the public and most of her colleagues are on the right side. And here's what some of them had to say at the last meeting. Some have said that they are not going to spend a penny on this district uh, because they feel that the rights of some have been violated. But in doing so, they'll be violating the rights of every student in Peoria to education, to have equal opportunity to be educated. When people say things on social media that are not true, when they make things seem different than they really are, people believe that and they go out and they decide that we're not a good district and we don't want to vote for bonds and overrides. And we just need to come to the table and stop with the nonsense on all of these things. I saw something that was just, it breaks my heart because these little girls believe that we think boys should go into bathrooms. That's not happening what I see. If it's happening on a campus, then we need to deal with it and we need to get on that. But we need to stop all the rhetoric out there that's hurting the kids because the adults are the ones that are not able to handle this. The kids just come to school. They just want to learn. They just want to do what they're supposed to do, play sports. And we got them in board meetings crying because they're afraid. I don't know why they would be afraid at my school. I am in those bathrooms every day. I watch what goes on every, we have security guards there. It's not happening that I see. To vote no on this budget recommendation because you are irritated or upset about a previous vote that, that occurred or happened is basically telling our staff, all of our staff, every single employee in this district that your salary and your benefit or your salary increases, all the different increases that we're looking at are contingent that they're being held hostage, that is a bribery to feel exactly the way you feel. And if we don't feel the way that you do, that our pay should be impacted. And that is not a message to send to all of our employees. That is not the message we want to send. Our increases, everyone always says, oh, we give money to the schools and it doesn't make it to the teachers. And we're literally telling you exactly how we sent every dollar down to $4,000. And it went to our increases, it went to some shifting and adjusting to kind of increase pay all around the entire district. The money is going where we want it to go. We're not doing anything malicious or anything. And we need to send the message that attraction, retainment of our staff is important because that was a goal of yours. But again, to vote no and say, I can't support this budget because I'm irritated about this other thing that occurred. You're holding our pay hostage. You're holding our increases hostage. And that is a wrong message to send. This vote needs to be unanimous. And again, if you cannot vote yes, then abstain. Thank you. We've had enough with all of the negativity. Parents should not be pulling their students. I'm a parent of a sixth grade girl and boy. I am proud that we attend PRA Unified. I am proud to say that I know every available dollar is spent on facilities, teachers, and that is good for our kiddos. I know that Ms. Myers and her team is amazing, and I encourage the board to unanimously, unanimously approve this. Not doing so would cause a huge issue for our kiddos. All of our students every day, we need our students and our staff and all of this that needs to be funded. Please vote unanimous. I will say, I hope anyone who's willing to vote no on this tells the bus drivers who came here and spoke about their lack of compensation, go out to the bus yard, tell those drivers, tell those workers, tell our cafeteria workers, tell our food handlers, 
tell our instructional assistants that they don't deserve that pay. Thank you.